All right, so we got Warhammer 40k Dark Tide and awesome trailers. Get this video. Let's go, man. So is this like a part of like the original like Warhammer series or no? Or is this like a like a different game? I am Grendel, the supreme power of the Holy Inquisition. Is okay. To wield. The Hive world of Atoma Prime is a vital stronghold of Imperial power. But a threat has come. The very darkness I am sworn to deny. As an instrument of the Inquisition, I will purge the Hive from top to bottom. And cut out every scrap of darkness I find. Oh yeah, this is different. No, 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 this is actually... Are we in first person? Wait a minute. Wait, is this like a zombie type of like mode for like? Yo, this is like a zombies mode a little bit. This is hard. No, please tell me this is like. Yes. Okay. This is. Wait a minute. Okay. Whoa. 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 All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Whoa. What is this? So we got Warm 40k Dark Tide. So essentially, this is like a like a four player. I'm guessing like multiplayer type of thing. Um. I mean, you're going up against like uh like you know zombies and stuff like that, bro. I'm gonna just keep it honest with you. This is fire. Then like, you can see like some of like the Warhammer like weapons and stuff like that. First of all, bro, the weapons in this game, bro, there's so many different type of weapons stuff, like like flamethrowers and like uh like actual Warhammer and like weapons and stuff like that. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is hard. I've never seen a Warhammer first person game before. Obviously, Warhammer is in like a third uh, um like some Warhammer games is in like a third person like perspective. Some Warhammer games is in like a uh, is in like a bird's eye view perspective or whatever. I don't think I've ever seen like a Warhammer game in first uh, first person before. That's absolutely crazy, bro. And it's coming next month too, bro. What's so crazy is for like Warhammer. And I'm gonna rant a little bit, but what's so crazy is I literally just now got into uh, Warhammer. I'll probably say like it's almost about to be a year um, next month. I think I, I got into Warhammer really late. Um, you know, I, I, listen, I like to call myself a new booty. Every time Warhammer, they drop like a trailer, whatever I reacted to it, but I was never really into like watching the lore or whatever. And then I got the idea. I was like, okay, you know what? Well, while I'm trying to learn more about Warhammer, I could just like, you know, just record my reaction to me, uh, checking out these videos or whatever, give my take on it. Um, you know, like, like in these videos and stuff like that, you guys like it a lot. Shout out to everybody, you know, uh, you know, from the Warhammer fan base, you know, who, who really, you know, came through and like. Watch my videos. You guys been sending all these positive things or whatever. I really appreciate it. Um, and, and, you know, bro, it really means a lot. Um, so thank you guys so much for that. And so you guys definitely welcome me with open arms. Uh, I'll, I'll listen. I'll probably say that uh, that the Warhammer like fan base or like community, like the Warhammer community, bro, is bro. It, it's so big, bro, and it, it's so crazy because you won't even know. Like the average person, the average person that just like the average. Um, I wouldn't, I, like, I wouldn't say, like, the average, like, you know, gamer or whatever, but, like, the average, like, you know, person who comes home and plays, like, the same game every day or whatever, they most likely wouldn't know what Warhammer is. And that's not, you know, that's not, like, a dig towards Warhammer. That's just, like, bro, you really got to, like, you know, ex like, expand your, like, horizon, bro, because, bro, I did not even know Warhammer existed two years ago. I'm just, you know, just keeping it honest with you. So, the fact that we got Warhammer right now, bro, first person with different weapons, man, oh, man. All right, y'all, I'm back. I have to get some water real quick. But li listen, like I said before, bro, like, the fact that we got, a, a, like, a first-person Warhammer game is absolutely, like, ridiculous, bro. Now, the question is, and this is to all the Warhammer connoisseurs out there, is this, like, a side game, like, a little bit? So, like, for instance, I don't think this is, like, a part of, like, the actual, like, Warhammer, like, you know, uh, like, Space Marine, like, you know, whatever. Obviously, I don't think this, I don't think this is, like, the next game or whatever. But, like, um, is this, like, a... Um, Okay, so for example, you guys know like uh, GTA. How is GTA 4, GTA 5, obviously GTA 6 is coming through. Bro, we got to talk about GTA 6, bro, bro. It's confirmed fall of, 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 of uh, 2025. We got to talk about that in, in a separate video. Now listen, is it like, um, 
You guys know like that update game? What was it like? Uh, like the Ballad of Gay Tony or whatever? Like that? Like that GTA game? Is that kind of like what this is? Is it, is it like just like a complete side off this game or whatever? I don't think this is like a DLC or nothing like that. If it is a DLC for a game, then I mean that. I mean this is pretty cool. The thing is, right? I think. This could be a DLC because I've never, me personally, I've never seen Warhammer 40k Dark Tide before. I mean, it says announcement trailer, so obviously this is a new thing. Um, I don't know if this is a sequel to another, um, you know, Warhammer 40k, like Dark Tide, or like, you know, or if this is a sequel to like another Warhammer uh, 40k game. I know that Warhammer, like Warhammer has so many games, bro. It's ridiculous. I thought it was just Warhammer Space Marine. No, it's Total Warhammer, Warhammer Fantasy. Like, it, it's so many different Warhammers, bro. Uh, like, games that I, I legit didn't know. Uh, and now we have Warhammer um, 40K Dark Tide. I keep saying Warhammer so much that, like, my brain is, like, just Warhammered out. I, mean, I can't lie to you. But listen, let's check out some of the gameplay. The gameplay looks absolutely fire. I'm going to be honest with you. Listen, I don't want to get, you know, jump a, you know, too ahead of the ship or whatever. Uh, but I can't lie to you, like, these like zombie things or whatever, bro. This th this thing look almost look better than uh the Call of Duty the Call of Duty zombies. If I'm being honest with you, uh, now listen, am I glazing a little bit? I am glazing. I mean, you know what? I'll just admit it. I am glazing because you know to be honest with like bro, like 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 the Call of Duty Black Ops zombies or whatever. It's cool and everything like that, but like, I don't know. It's something about it. It's, it it doesn't hit the same as like Call of Duty Black Ops Two zombies or Call of Duty Black Ops Three zombies. You know, it's off a little bit. With this zombies, I don't know why. Let's let me, let's watch a little bit of gameplay, because I'm I'm gonna dissect this real quick. Like the zombies in this game, it looks it looks cool. Like and, and it looks simple. I think that's it. It looks simple. It's not too open. Like you know, like you gotta go here and you gotta catch the helicopter to fly to this uh island and you gotta like. It looks simple. And then like there's different forms of weapons as well, bro. You can hit somebody with the katana. Obviously YouTube. I'm talking about video games you can hit somebody with a katana you can spray somebody down like it's 1902 with a with a with a tommy gun like bro there's like different forms of like uh combat and, and like uh gunplay as well wowzers like look at this like bro you got shotguns and stuff like that like bro i'm gonna be honest with you this is fire bro this is this is like a warhammer version of like call of duty zombies this is not bro I kind of like this, bro. And it comes out next month. I was not even expecting this to come out. I'm going to be honest with you. The, the next game that I was actually uh, waiting for was the Indiana Jones game. Um, that was the game that I was actually just waiting for, whatever. And then, obviously, like, you know, we got the Game Awards coming up next month. And then we got a potential GTA 6 uh, trailer 2 coming out next month. I mean, it's most likely uh, that we that we have, like, another trailer coming through in December um i'm I'm basically i think it's gonna come through in like the game awards or whatever but that's just my opinion um other than that bro like i'm gonna be honest with you bro i like this bro let's give up a hand i like this bro because it's different bro and it's like its own thing now again i don't know if this is like its own it was a plane i don't know if this is like its own separate game again i don't know if this is like a dlc i don't know if this is a uh if this is like an expansion it's like another game or whatever but um, if this is just the whole base of the game where, you know, you just queue in with, like, random people uh, or you just, you know, you be yourself and you can have, like, uh, three other people with you and, like, you're just mowing down these, like, uh, people or whatever. I mean, I mean, they look like zombies, like zombify tyrants or something like that. And then let's check out the characters. Now, the characters, I knew something was up whenever I seen the characters. Give me one second, y'all. See if I can find a screenshot. Uh, okay. So we got these are some of the character models. I don't know if this is all the character models. Again, the game comes out in December, so they could legit just like like drop one. They probably just drop like a new like skin slash character or whatever. Like legit all month November because bro, we got like an entire new month into December. So uh, we got this guy right here. So he's like the tank guy. He's kind of like um he kind of reminds me of like what's that one guy uh, off of Overwatch? He kind of reminds me of like a uh, Roadhog from Overwatch. Um, this is like the. This looks like the marksman, like the person that walks around with a sniper or they walk around with like, with like some type, uh, type of katana. Uh, this is like the light build person. This is the person that just they're really fast and they're really agile and stuff like that. This person might just be like the most balanced one there, probably. Uh, but you can, you can definitely tell they all have like, a you know, um, they all have like their own like perks and like, you know, experiences and stuff like that. Uh, just based off their size. A lot of games do this. A lot of games do this. Um, 
I mean, that that's what, you know, makes some games fun by having different forms of characters, different types of characters with different types of abilities and stuff like that. So I can already tell off the bat, he's the heavy type of character. He's going to like walk. He's like the tank of the group, basically. Um, but yeah, this this is crazy, bro. This is definitely crazy. The gameplay looks really nice. The fire, bro. The effects looks really nice as well, bro. I'm going to be, listen, again, I'm, okay, so wait, 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 hold up, hold up. That's the, so that big hand, that was the tank guy. That was the big guy. Okay, so I'm guessing that was the marksman guy, or that was like the, uh, or, or that was the, um, the one all the way to the right, like the light build version. <laughs> got the, we got a regular gun as well, bro. The fact that we're in first person, bro, and it also looks like it, it has like some type of like scary effect to it. How like if you walk into a room and like you flash your, uh, like you, you know, you flash your gun or whatever, you see a whole room of like these nasty little zombie zombified tyrant creatures or whatever like i'm gonna be honest with you bro i'm definitely <laughs> this is what i like this is this is what i like right here man i know i'm yapping a lot man i'm gonna I'm wrap it up right now thank you guys so much to all to the entire warhammer community i'm not really a, a a warhammer content creator man but you guys will love the video so you know you, you know how to give you more uh but we are back to the regular schedule program don't worry i'm still gonna upload uh warhammer videos i know you guys like those as well you know, like my like my community or whatever, like, you know, you guys like some uh, some of this, some of that. I know I like I attract viewers from like different games and stuff like that. So, of course, you know, some viewers are going to watch this. Some viewers are going to watch that. I don't really wor like worry about like uh, their view account too much. But, you know, if, if I really see the support from videos and stuff like that, I mean, I really appreciate it. You know, and I just keep, you know, going forward, you know, with the content and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much, man. I will see you guys later. Next one, I'm out. And make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. And... Peace out.